What's up, geeks? We are going fishing today, but as you can tell, we are not on the lake where I normally do my dialogues. We're standing in the middle of a construction zone. Yeah, I had a little problem with my phone. This is a video you're actually going to see that was two days before the truck hit the house. Now, two days after that, my phone blew up. <laughs> so I lost all the dialogue and some b-roll from this video i went out the day before to film some did a little bit of fishing in the morning and seen that the top water bite was on me and jeremy went out and had a really really fun day on some cool baits which by the way links in the description to all the gear in these videos speaking of gear i want to show you guys something check it out check it out we got some cool new bass geek shorts we got some cool new water bottles cool new thermoses some cool stuff out on the website go check it out bassgeekfishing.com go to the gear tab we might have some hats coming real soon still working on that but for now let's go fishing So I didn't have a lot of time to fish today. I just wanted to check two spots out and sure enough, the bass were out there suspended. The thermocline was pushing them up just like it always does this time of year. Water temps were like 84, 85. That's right what I, where I wanted. I knew we had some big storms coming in the next day. Jeremy was gonna be off, so I was hoping to get him out there and find some top water. I should have had a great top water day. Some really big bass blew up, but I was testing a rod and it was a little too soft. This is actually a spot that I've known forever and I know these fish suspend up here and top water late in the year is always a great way to catch them when they're pushing the shad up against the top of the water when that thermocline moves up. And it can be some really, really fun fishing. <sighs> As I said, I'm doing everything in my power to turn what should be a great day, a good topwater day, into a horrible one. <sighs> Nothing great, but gotta watch your bait, not the screen always. So basically what it is, there's a creek channel edge that comes down and it's right before you get to the channel swing and it creates a little hard spot and there's a stump out here and you know as the current comes down it just kind of washes that hard spot clean constantly those bass like to sit on it now once the thermocline starts to raise it pushes them up off of it and close to the surface and the water's clear enough that if they you walk the bait slowly they'll come up and eat it and i'm actually watching these fish come up and eat this bait i can see the top water on my garmin and uh it, it's actually causing me to miss a couple because i'm watching the garmin and not the bait i watched him come up and eat it I don't know. Yeah, he ain't bad. There's a second one on top water. I had to work him up. He ain't bad. He's probably two and three quarters, three pounder. That should be good. Alrighty. But yeah, you just gotta... You got it pointed where you want it? But see, that's why I say you gotta... Wait, did I put that door back on? I hope so. Yeah. If you didn't, it would, it would have already fallen out. Alright, you're throwing buzzy bait? Yeah. Just for shifts and giggles. I just have to see if 
if I could put it in that hole. <laughs> oh, was that what you wanted? That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Hold on, can I put that in there? Oh, I had one hit it. Did you see it? I seen it. Couldn't get a hold of it. You getting ready to throw that top water? Okay. I like that. That's bad. Hmm. I'm still throwing that spinner bait, but I'm getting ready to pick up an underspin. I just wanted to fish a couple down these high hanging trees. Right here. I'm, right getting, I'm coming right through them right now, then. There's a, see where my arrow's pointing? See that hanging tree right there? Yeah. There's some brush. There's I should bunch. be coming right over it. There's a bunch hanging over it. Well, there's a bunch feeding on shad mm -hmm. down at about 25 foot. Good shad ball, bunch of fish down there. That may be the thing, the shad shallow. It might be a swim bait day. They're sure busting that shad. There you go. Got him. Oh, I seen him too. I was like, as soon as I seen that, I was like, oh God, please tell me you seen him hit that. <laughs> that tells you. Just change the rod up. Yep. Custom colors, boys and girls. Custom colors. Check out Lornet. Top water, look how fat that fish is. Look at the belly on him. All right guys, so that first fish, what we've got is we've got a creek channel right here. We got a group of them just sitting out here. I just missed a second one. They're just barely coming up and slurping at it. I can actually see them on the graph. We fished a few more minutes in this hole, but we went to our second and our primary hole, the spot that was really hopping the day before. And I caught one, fought with some camera troubles, and then Jeremy pulled off this one. Lean into him. Don't, don't, don't. Just keep. Oh, yeah. Just bring him to me. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, you. <laughs> you're fine. Let me take that drag. Oh, it's a small mouth. That's a good one. That's a good one, Jeremy. Good smolly, buddy. Good smolly. Hell yeah. Let's see what you got on the top water, Jeremy. There we go. There buddy. we go. Nice small mouth. Good job. Yes, Where'd you sir. catch that on? Caught that on the heading boyo. What is that? The uh uh, what was Blue, it? Uh, gill fry. Gill fry. Gill fry. Good looking color yeah, right there. Really good color. Boys, I'm telling you, it is hard to beat a gill. Well, I had a follower. Right behind you. Oh my God. Oh, 
Hardy. I believe that's another small mouth, wouldn't it? I think so. Well, yeah, you got him? I'm going to try and get us another. Oh, good. <laughs> well, they like that thing. Them small mouths like that damn thing. Look at that. Sideways. Show that to the Show that to the camera. My lord, sideways in his mouth. It. <laughs> I think he did. He didn't miss that. Oh, not at all. Small mouth number two on the boyo. Can't go wrong with that. So we decided to let the hot spot rest for just a minute. It kind of cooled off on us, and we were going to fish some of the uh, steeper banks adjacent to it, going back to that buzz bait. But they look, they look big and long. All right, Jeremy. Oh, God. oh, I got that one. Finally. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh. He broke my f***ing buzz bait off. So we come back to our hot spot and immediately we notice some top water action. Well, it's kind of, I can't. Another small mouth, look at that. <laughs> I did. You know, I didn't know about this thing from cast. And I mean, that's not a huge small mouth. But I uh, see my buddy down there, he gave this to me at iCast. And uh, you work it a little different, but uh, it works. So, middle of the day, 12 o'clock noon, and I mean, front hook, he wanted it. I think I might throw that a little bit longer. <laughs> uh. it, it just has such a unique... Yeah. Like, it's like something's chasing on top of the water. Yeah. And you just call something up to take to zoom in on that, basically. That was the end of our day right there. You know, right around about that 1 o'clock, that top water bite finally died down. I was hoping it was going to have some clouds a little bit longer. You know, the very next day we went out, and that's the day that the lake raised. By the time we left right then and we got back, the lake raised almost 12 feet and then while we were on it which was probably like seven hours probably not even that long it raised another like eight feet while we were out there so it was pretty crazy the next day the bite was pretty much non-existent at that point be some fun fishing some fun catching and uh top water you know you can't say anything else about it. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, go check out that gill fry boyo from Head. I'm telling you, if you're around smallmouth, 
that thing is the deal. Um, as always, links will be in the description below. Guys, it does help the channel out, but as always, the best way to support the channel is just watching. You know, if you're going to go to Tech a Warehouse and buy a few things, use the links. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't cost you a dime, but it does support the channel, uh, and I appreciate it. Just so you know, we are going to do the August Bass Geek box. I know I'm behind, but we've got both boxes on the way. So the August and September, I ain't going to cheat you guys. I'm going to make sure that I take care of you. I promise you that I'll do a monthly box. Sometimes we'll do two boxes in one month because, you know, things happen. But as always, questions and comments in the comments below. You guys know I love to talk fishing with you. If you got any questions about setups or tell me some of your uh, favorite topwaters that's, you know, you're catching them on right now. Like it. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you know when these videos come out. Because again, watching is the best way to support the channel. And as always, you guys rock.